these challenges done uh, uh, quickly. Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> I also had a glass of milk that um, I took my antihistamines. So hopefully I, I shouldn't be suffering from my um, allergies uh, too much. Uh, let's see here. Three, three, two, two. <sighs> see that makes these two make these three make me think it's might be worth it, especially with that. So we'll keep. <clears throat> Oh, he has a pet. Okay. Let's just organize these real quick. We'll play blue first, and then we'll play a meta and summon that. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, lovely, we got that out already. I need four mana, so that needs to be played next. <coughs> I wish I saved that now. So no more playing enchantments until I summon that. Right, we got our Next. <sighs> I just realized I should have played that. <clears throat> uh, oh well. Actually, no, that's an enchantment, so it'd be better to play that first. Pass. Right okay. Oh, lovely, we got another one. Did he win? No, it didn't. Okay. Okay, so next turn we're going to play that and this and get two Pegasi. Hopefully. As long as he doesn't do anything. Bastard! What did he play? Oh. Sacrifice a creature, okay. Sacrifice a goat.
Okay, I have to start attacking him because otherwise he's just going to keep getting life. Really? <clears throat> Damn. Getting so much life just because he all his creatures like all his things just got tapped. Oh wow. Well we only have to play one more um blue or white card. And then we're done folks. That, that, that. Not bad, not bad, but let's go for a mulligan. Okay. Alright, let's just keep it. And then we'll pull this away. <coughs> this deck before. I have to can't spend too long fighting it.
seriously. us anyway, so I might as well attack. Be great if I got a deck. All right, we have one more chance to do attack of another uh, about thirty or so creatures. So we are going to go with uh, a more preferred deck. Alright, so I'm dealing with an opponent who specializes in destroying his opponent's deck. Very dangerous. Especially um, with that one there. I need to get one black card to kill that. that happens that's also a possibility times I have now won due to someone inexplicably surrendering. Like, it's a win's a win and I'm gonna I'm getting the gold which allows me to buy uh, booster packs. I'll be a digital booster packs. Go. 
I need to mulligan that. Much, much better. Okay. Now you'd send one of these back, we're gonna send him back. And he's a great uh, bit, uh, way of get me getting attacks in. Plus one plus one, but I'm not gonna quite do that yet. So instead, what I'm gonna do is summon him. Good uh, instant, I believe. Yeah. Pass. My turn. All right. I guess was, I, I just I guess he was hoping for the cards to come in, but while well, he was building up Nana, but I guess he didn't get them. If I complete that. I'll be able to get another three packs. Oh, and someone's coming up in the store. I wonder what that is. Actually, yeah, that's. Ooh! Some Kaladesh themed um, land cards. That's cool. For free? Yeah, let's claim it. We have some really old school, like these are old, old school uh, land cards. Like I used to actually have that mountain card, believe it or not, folks. Like, well, let's go to deals because they did change. Anything? We have, again, we have alternate artworks of cards, which are cosmetic only, so. They don't give you the card. We have two packs. So hopefully we can finish this with five. See, that's what I like about the deck that I bought. Uh, a while ago I think it's been about a year now or so um, it's a very cheap blue black deck that re revolves around you sacrificing cards to your graveyards so that is a pretty good card and we have some nice cards to deal with opponents we have we have and we have one blue so we're gonna we're actually gonna keep this hand we have a very cheap hand right here so depending on what I draw, because since my opponent might be going first, that means I get to draw. Yeah, so I get I get to draw. Okay. So we're just gonna start off nice and slow with one minute. Maybe I should have actually started with the blue. Nope. Okay. Here we go. 
we got our first creature that we that we're going to start attacking with hopefully uh, soon enough and turn and we have sleep with the dead to deal with any cards that he may use to try and stop me from attacking because we're going to try and start finish we're going to try and do at least one attack around like sorry a match okay we we didn't get our second black that's okay we can draw an extra card so we're gonna do that right now okay so there we go we have our attack and I just got message there folks so we're gonna end turn Just gonna deal with these messages on my phone for a bit. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we can uh, we can prevent that card from interfering by spending one mana and still get our attacks in. Because that's what's important right now is getting all those attacks in. So we're gonna do this. It taps because like, that's gonna st that's gonna keep that card from from attacking us for the next uh, round as well. So we're gonna go with these cheap ones first, and then if we and then save like these in the potential kill ones for later. Okay, see that's exactly why we kept the kill ones. We finally got we got another black. However, we're going to increase our devotion to black by giving it a minus three minus three. And see, so yeah, we're going to keep that going. We're going to keep. So that's a sorcery, so it turns out I have to use it or lose it. So Yeah, you know, we're gonna do it. We're gonna tap him. Just to get that damage in. How many attacks? I think I did two plus one. We don't. We have. We've done three attacks. Nowhere near what we need. We need like twenty more attacks. So, like, I doubt we're gonna get that. Whoa! A lot of changing going on there. All right, he was scrying and then that triggers. Just gonna let that attack go through. There's an extra land card. So now here's what we're gonna do. Let's see, flying kicker until it enters the battlefield. If it was case, all creatures are able to block. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually kill that card rather than enchanting. And to save on mana, we're gonna use this. Two cost for yeah, it would cost me all my mana to do to put the trying to that bow. So instead, we will just do this get rid of that card. Oh, wait, we can still summon them. It automatically activated that ability to add any color. Now this could see with her. He could he could potentially block that safely, so we're not going to do that right now.
Tarn. The next turn we could kill this. Nope, he has a kicker card. Flies, flying creatures true. That's all right. We're gonna kill. Her. Well, exile. folks but we did not get like about a couple of attacks in which is great it's what we needed Kill that fairy if he blocks him. Okay. So what we're going to do is just attack completely and then Do it again. Hmm. It only needs three cards. Okay, I can't. But it does mean I can do this. What? Did, did that my attack? Did I not get. Oh, crap. For some reason, I didn't get a chance to attack.
let's see, we have three. Good, good, good. Uh, it would have been better if I had two black and one blue, but we're gonna keep this hand. I want to get. We're gonna play the black card straight off the bat. Ideally, we would team this card up um, with this. Oh, wow. That's one attack in, at least. So that puts us like at about 15 or so more matches. Now, if I did get one more mana, I could insta kill that card. But I need to survive. What's all these people with all their legendary creatures like then? to kill the A8 death touch. You know, with that amount of attackers, I have this lost. So we're just going to attack with everything. Get those three extra attacks in. Because like if they if he because whoever that is if they attacked with all their creatures I can only block three and they have more than enough creatures to get the guaranteed um, five damage they needed. Right there, like look at the like six creatures alone with right there. Now mind you, those three are have ten, so like, that's five, six, seven. Yeah, they had they had more than enough to get through my three uh, defenders. Oh, we still have another fourteen to go, folks. If we can get one in per per match, we're at 14 games. So here's hoping we can get more than that. Chances are me going through a match with like like a losing um, so quickly that I don't even get one attack in is very unlikely. But now it's just weird because like again last week I was on such a hot streak and now this week it's just 
Oh. Uh, not bad. I don't have any blue. Uh, I can summon that when I uh, when I get to when I play all three, and I need one blue in order to summon the, uh, these two. So it would it, we're looking at a minimum three rounds before I get to. Uh, yeah, we're looking at a minimum three before I can uh, start attacking. Regardless if I get a blue this turn. Now obviously this is going to be the first one I play because, well... But actually no, none of them are tap under the battlefield tap, so that's good. So let's just play this. Now the good news, by the time I get a blue mana, hopefully I can play the heartbeat and get some easy unblockable attacks in. Unless they have a flying creature or a creature of reach. Alright, we got an extra mana so we can then eventually get the harpy. So next turn, summon da. And then the harpy. Summon the I can prevent attacking. Keep that fucking five five from attacking me again. Discard a card. My mess is going all over the place. Alright. Uh, attack with that. 
So that's it, that's about three attacks, wasn't it? Huh. Damn. There's another car banished, and it's game. get you folks so we went from 14 so uh, 14 to um, 10 that's not that's not bad if we're lucky we can get that down by another four or uh, maybe even five In terms of the hand composition, four mana and some sheep cards, and we have that early, so that's useful. And because I have no one cost creatures uh, so far, I'm just going to immediately play that. Right, five cost. And now I just realized I made a mistake. I should not have done that because I forgot that. Uh, that was a horrible mistake. Now I have to wait until t round three. To be able. And then it's round four until I can make an actual attack. I, f I keep forgetting my, my usual rule is always get elite. Like, if you're a multicolor deck. Before you start playing the land, like unless you're desperate, don't play the colorless lands until you get one of each of your colors in. Of course, that was to happen. Luckily enough, boom. Whoa, he has a really big deck. So we're not playing with standard. Mine is standard. I didn't edit it. Mind you, I feel like I should have. Definitely feel like I should have edited the deck. Maybe add a few more cards. Because the amount of times I get <laughs> to keep sending them back to the graveyard. Alright. I'm going to play Exile Charger. It's proven very difficult for me to get one attack in. <laughs> okay. And he's exiled two cut on my card so far.
There we go. We got one attack in. We're down to nine more attacks. <laughs> so much effort to get one attack in. And if one more card goes to the graveyard, uh, one card that I play, we'll get a... Wait, good, good game. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I was like, what? I have a blocker. He has one creature that I, I keep. I forget. Red. They deal damage normally. Oh, all right. Well, we have nine more. At least we got that one. We got that one attack in. Oh. Here we go. Three mana. We have cards that are four mana cost. Exception of a five and a tree there. Hmm. gonna keep hopefully I'm not making a mistake by keeping this hand oh no charmed cat I've had bad dealings with a person who used a lot of charmed cats sorry charmed stray I should have attacked. I don't know why I didn't. I should have attacked. Exactly where she is.
it's around a one and dear god Like you're always going to see a bunch of these hollow priests. Hold on. How the hell does he have one, two, three, four? Oh wait, no, four is the max. Okay. For a second, I thought you had more than four. I was like, wait, what? Probably something that was enough. Yes, it was enough, folks. Okay. Alright, so we're that this is gonna be it for today folks. We're done. I only look to you know finish my to complete these quests and to have a, like at least an hour of me trying to play. But we got three packs, but we're gonna before we even think of opening them, we're gonna buy um, another tree. We have six packs. Alright, here we go, folks. Let's see what we get. We got a bunch of... Okay, we got... Let's see, we have... Let's see. Uh -huh. We have some cards that benefit parties. Okay, we got some... We got a rogue. We got a cleric. We got a wizard. So I can tap it to add. What? I don't understand this. Okay.
by the looks of some of these cards if i wanted to even come close to eventually having a zandakar rising deck with the party mechanic i'm going to need to combine blue and black And then that's it. Oh, profile, can I see my collection of cards? Hmm. Oh, it's on there, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Guess there's a collection. Here we go, we filter out for only the, on the colorless, obviously. What's this? these two okay let's see how, what you have okay we have a good bit oh well we actually have the tavern swindler zombie vampire okay we have a few cards that, are, that I'm, like we're, we're gonna be seeing that card again with the um, the deck that I just ordered I have no idea why some of the green. Oh wait, the greens are coming because of the black. So, with the Zandikar rising, um, like it definitely. Oh, mask room. Creatures your problem control get mask bonus too. Wow, whenever creature your problem control dies, that player loses two life. Oh wow, damn. Uh. In terms of the, let's see, we have a rogue, a cleric, uh, sorry, two, we have three clerics for, uh, for the blacks. We have one warrior and we have a rogue. So we definitely have, I think, all four. Uh, where's something that has the party mechanic so I can bring up real quick. Because we need to have like one of each. Um, trying to find it. I should have a card. Uh... Oh wait, we actually have another vampire. Uh, okay, so some of the okay, so it's not just in the Zanak Horizon. They do come on the this uh twenty one set because we have another vampire cleric right there. I don't have anything so far okay so that means I have no card at the moment within those two colors that triggers on sorry upon having all the cards in your party which is a little disappointing so I have no idea how would I build for uh, the, a blue black deck. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, here we go. Party. There's there's one right there. Your party consists of one each. So I need a cleric, rogue. <coughs> Ooh, cleric rogue wizard so we definitely have a cleric we have two clerics we have a warrior and we have a rogue so we definitely we, we, we could potentially go mono black and have it um, 
But here's the thing though, I don't think I want to go that route. I, I, think I, I feel like I may want to go the combination, the blue. Well, for one, actually, I don't think I could potentially build. I need, I'll need to have like four of each of these uh, in there. And, and to be honest with you, I can only play that cleric once because it's um, a legendary, so you can only have one on the field at any given time. We now join in the last Blood Chief attacks. The Phantom player chooses a knowledge change. Card in your graveyard, you return that card to the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter. That cre the creature is a vampire in addition to all his other types. That's really good. So, uh, normally I don't do this, but uh, given how there's no standard deck, I like using standard decks, but um, I'm going to keep opening, obviously, the Zandakar uh, packs uh, this, to hopefully get more. And then I'll see about uh, getting new deck cards like you. And here's the thing now, you can only, I think you can only craft, oh no, you can craft any card, even if you haven't collected it already. So actually, yeah, let's use the craft system to get a, a teaser look at some of these. Merfolk Rogue. Uh-huh. <sighs> Messaged. There's Chase the from Zander Car Horizon. Monocolored. But then again, he's normally monocolored. There was a time where he had dual colours, but not for a while. I'm seeing no vampire cards, so part of me is like I'm not seeing many black blue. There's Teferi. Oh, he switched to blue now. Interesting. You know, I'm starting to get a sense, uh, and there's a, there he is again. I'm starting to get more of a sense that it's mostly um, most of the card, like most of the new decks, are going to be revolve around monocolored. Uh, I wouldn't, probably wouldn't mind going for a mono black because I again like I do like it, but mono blue black tends to work out a bit better for me generally. Yeah, I might go mono colored. If I do build a Zanaka Horizon deck, well, I should. I should have loads of oh wait no, I have old ones shit that will explain why uh, so I have to recollect that card it didn't get doesn't get updated I might hold off building any cards though until I get the new deck to see what I could add to it. But yeah, no, like from what I can see, like. I could go vampire, right, and build a vampire deck that revolves, like, you know, that hopefully has the vampires, and then I t that's not the one I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, there's the Leona that I'm getting, which is really good, we saw it in action today, we saw her deck in action, I believe, uh, let's see if there's any good blue, black, out there, like, oh, here we go, obsessive stitcher, Wow, that, okay, so obviously the necromancy. Was that it? 
Really, was that 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 that, that, that was it? For the yeah, then we go into Clarus. Interesting. That's very funny. So yeah, the new card system. Sorry, the new set of cards seem to be more towards mono, which is interesting because, like, which is inter like very interesting because for a while they've been very dual colored, uh, minimum like. But the only good ones that I've seen that were being sold that were mono were you know revolving around a particular planeswalker, um, because like not like that's it's wow. Like I'm not completely against it. I'm just very surprised, and we we actually get we're seeing a lot of um, like again like the Zendikar Horizon. Like I, I like Zendikar; it's a very interesting um, set. And like, because I, I I've read the plane I have the plane shift guide to uh, Zendikar, which you know is for playing D and D in Zendikar. And as I was reading, I was like, wow, this is so fucking cool. So, wait, what? Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, I'm I'm going to see about building it. Um, keep collecting more Zandikar cards and see about building the deck. Now, unfortunately. Like unless I actually start winning matches, it's gonna take me a long while. Like, cause you only get like seven cards per pack. This game gives you only a small coin refund for dump. Like, if you exceeded your maximum, so like it's gonna be quite a bit. Now, obviously, I can look online and import, cause there is a way to import decks from the other people design. So maybe. I'll uh, look into that, like see what other people may have created uh, before I create my own. Um, but we'll see. I'm I'm more excited about this Sunday when I get my new deck because again I'm going to get a code, which I can then redeem to get the deck uh, added to this. So we're going to be having a fun new deck. That's twenty one. Sorry, Magic twenty one and Zendikar Rise most likely. Alright, folks. <laughs> Messy. I don't know what reflex of you know doing that. Anyway, this is Will Finn just sign out. May the force put you, and remember, we're all for initiative. <laughs>